Hey guys, this is T4, and we're playing the Guild 2 Renaissance today in 2019. This game is actually, uh, or at least the original Guild 2, is from 2006. So, uh, the game is, is a little buggy. It's got character, but um, it's pretty wonderful. So, I'm actually, I'm going to make sure that I delete this. Okay, I can't seem to, oh yes I can, okay cool. Just can't delete autosaves. So, um, I tried it out a little bit beforehand, try to get the feel for it. I read online a good beginner's map is Lion, Macon, and Belly here. So we're gonna pick that one. Years per round, we're gonna go one. Office sessions, one. Dynasty mode is sort of like an endless mode. Mission, don't worry about that. Number of Dynasty, six, we're gonna have it on easy just because I'm learning this game. All right, and we got this sweet looking uh, turquoise, teal, blue icon here. We're gonna start this bad boy up. Uh, so first of all, we gotta make our character, and <laughs> the man—he's back. I didn't even have to do anything. That's beautiful. Oliver Gunn, the rogue. Oh, this guy is—is is a madman. He's—he is awesome. Let's see, dexterity too. So it looks like it already actually had his skill points assigned. Part of me wonders if uh, it somehow carried over data. That's all right. We got our stealth at three. This man is ready. He's ready for action. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we definitely have to play as our man Oliver Gunn. Look at this this example of sheer manhood. Look at this guy. That eye patch. That red bandana. It's matchless. No Pierce. All right, we're gonna start this bad boy off. So, Guild 2 Renaissance is sort of a, uh, a sim money management kind of game. Um, I've actually been really enjoying it. We're gonna just turn that down just a little bit. Yeah, maybe right about there. So, <laughs> so we start off here. We've got our man, Oliver Gunn. Here he is. Um, the man, the myth, the legend. And then we've got our hut, which is currently named Could Be Worse. I like that. <laughs> so essentially in this game, uh, you're trying to make money, you grow your dynasty, and you can essentially take uh, financial control over entire cities. So if you look, I can look around here. Um, this is our city right here. This is um, Macon, a uh, nice little starter village here. Off in the distance, you can see another uh, town and even yet another town over that way. And if you press M, you can bring up your map. And here we have it. Uh, so you can see our little character right here. And then we've got our shield over this house because it belongs to us. If you look, there's actually other shields. Um, so it looks like, see, we've got two opponents actually. They're already going. They're going. Uh, right here, Josette Azur and Amy Urgit. And they work for this house with the, the gold icon. It looks like they have a bake shop. We are a rogue, so we are actually going to be uh, conniving and um, making evil plans to, to steal others' loot. So here's how we're going to start this off. We're going to construct a building. Let's do a smuggler's hole. And you know what? We're going to build it right next door. Because why not, right? Excuse me. Goodness. Uh, yeah, it's going to be right about like that. I like that. So now um, I've invested 1750 into constructing this, and they're gonna go ahead and start that off. Now let's see here. The other thing that like I want to start doing as our good good man Oliver Gunn here is we want to start looking around for a potential for um, bride. Ours. And I mean, she better be thanking us already. Whoa, she's trying to invite someone to bathe together. Maybe she's a little bit spicy for us, or maybe that's exactly the kind of woman. <laughs> a pest house. Interesting. And what is she? Uh, if we could, she is a scholar. Well, I mean, we could we could have our man Oliver talk to her. Let's see. I mean, that seems like the kind of lady he would want. Although she's a scholar, I don't know if that's what we want. She has no time for us anyway. Look at that. Uh, so you can see kind of wrong 
Let's see, too young, has no time, wrong gender. <laughs> and look around here. Uh, last member of Dynasty, wrong gender. We don't really want to be on the yellow team's side anyway. They're kind of our opponents in this starting village here. So, I mean, for now, it looks like our, our man is just going to have to be patient here. Uh, so, what we're going to do, since he's a rogue, we're actually going to set him up to start pickpocketing people here in the marketplace. We're going to set it up, like, right about there. So, he's, he's going to go about his uh, philandering and scoundrel duties. Seldom have I seen about a flower as beautiful as you. Which one is he speaking to? Whoa, dude! Oh, somebody just burped. He's a bunch of scoundrels out here, I see. Pinto Von Frostchen. He's a serf. Uh, no office. Does he even have a class? Oh, he's righteous. Kissing a woman in the middle of town, I see. Oh, and he just pickpocketed her. Our man Oliver Gunn oh, just scored 84 gold. So he's going to be doing this, and while we are, we've actually got some, uh, some peasants here, day laborers, building our house. Or, I should say, the thieves, uh, thieves hole. So now that we've got this Lilith's Pastia, I like it. It now appears over here in our list of buildings. So you can take a look, Smuggler's Hole, Lilith's uh, Pastia. And look, here's Surf Luis Sabliette. And she is now uh, under our... Oh, she caught a cold, huh? What is she doing now? Alright, go go see a medicus. Get rid of that cold. Tip, uh, try to find a part partner early and raise your children well so that your dynasty will continue to exist after your death. New building has been finished. In dynasty mode, found a family. No, con no victory conditions in this mode. This game only ends when your dynasty dies out. So this is sort of an endless sandbox mode, which I, I think is pretty cool. Look at him. Man, there's so many people. Kitchen cold over here. Lare. Let's just uh, take a look. Oh, look, he just <laughs> stole her money too. He's actually he's he's pretty conniving. I like this. Um, a lot of things that you can do as a um, as a rogue. One of the coolest ones is is dropping a smoke bomb and just straight up disappearing, which is is pretty awesome. All right, so there are actually a couple uh, possible bachelorettes here. See, Lore. She's a rogue as well. She would fit right in. Although I'm kind of thinking of maybe finding a patron. So let's go here in the town hall. You can actually enter buildings. Um, let's see. And if I click on my man here, we can see who is court eligible, I believe. I believe. I'm not positive. Yes. Remy Sigand. It's already married this person. Um, this, I think this, where is the lady? Already married. I actually don't know where she went. Could be her. Take a look at her. Audrey Lamore. She's a patron. That's perfect. That's actually what we wanted. So she is destitute, but her dispositions are righteous. Okay. Well, yeah. So I mean, she's destitute. She she ain't got nothing, dude. So we're actually. Oh, by the way, you notice everybody's kind of frozen. We basically have it paused. It's actually in super slow motion. That's how this game works. Uh, but yeah, we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, court her because we want to get our dynasty started as quickly as possible so we're gonna go ahead and just put some effort into this victory is ours patrons are fun loving people with a penchant for good beer and wine they love embraces and shy kisses just as much as they love do extended baths and private conversations yet those things which at first catch a patron's eye soon leave them cold it would therefore, over the course of time, be a good idea to involve him in a long conversation, to compliment him, present him gifts, and even invite him to dance, but not unimaginative in your endeavors, for patrons love variety. Good to know. All right, well, yep, he's going to go ahead and he's going to go and court Audrey, Audrey Lamore, and we go and try to get him all hooked up. Essentially, um, your character is not the only one, even though this man is legendary. Um, you, you need to start a family, and your kids will carry on your legacy. I find you appealing, he says. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> yes. A courtship has begun. Very nice. There and I now, am. 
We are going to give her, let's see, a good compliment. Let's do that. Victory is ours. That's right, Oliver. Oh man, way to way to give her the compliment. There we go. All right, so a little bit like Sims, you see, plus five. We've got our progress bar right here. Courtship has begun. Huh? So, um, we we can give gifts, but we actually have to wait for uh, one hour and forty-five minutes in game time in order to do these sort of um, non-priced activities. Which that's actually not that long. If you look, it's it's going down, I believe, by uh, f minutes or five minutes at a time, every couple seconds. Yeah. So see, that's that's fine. Um, we're gonna continue to just keep an eye on that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look Stop at um, Luis. So oh, well. look, she got better. Now we're gonna have her pickpocketing in the marketplace. Let's see. Let's set her up right about there. All right. Nice. For sight. And now, um, where's he at? <laughs> where's our boy? Here he is. Still hanging out with his lady, I see. Um, we could come right over here to the marketplace and buy a perfume. So let's go ahead. It's uh, price is 720 right now. That's okay. We're, we'll do it. We've got 8,400. We're fine. Very nice. Okay. And now, let's see. You can actually, if you if you lose track of her, even though I see her right here, you can bring up important units here. See, family, courted woman, non-aggression pack, neutral, and enemies. So it sort of uh, helps you to keep everything in track here. We're gonna go ahead and give her a what? She's fighting someone. Hold up, let's go help her out. What is she doing? Oh, she's punching out this lady. Oh, okay, that's our that's our woman right there. That is our woman. <laughs> she straight knocked her out. All right, well, Victory our man over out. here is just gonna you know just stroll over and just uh, just take side. advantage of the, the situation, side. right? He's gonna go ahead and uh, finish. He's not gonna finish her off, but you know, let's just go ahead and take what she has. You know why not? There we go. All right, nice. You know, okay. And I see she's still unconscious. Poor, poor no, no, Noemi. Noemi. I've never heard that name My before. All right. So now back to the courtship. We we can actually give her another thing. Let's see. Uh, let's do an embrace. Child's play. So he's gonna go do that. And if you heard the the yep, 76 gold. We have our rogue Luis Sablet, and she's actually currently robbing people left and right, pickpocketing. So she's actually going to continue to make us money here. And then uh, we've got our man here, embracing his woman who has a cold. See those flies? Oh, you. plus 19. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. All right. So you see, the plus nine is actually um, reputation with the person. So that's that blue blue bar. Then we have the progress uh, for our courtship bar right here. Yeah, she just has a cold. That's okay. So we've got a gift. We don't have to wait to give a gift here. Child's play. So let's go ahead and give her the perfume. Look at this dashing rogue here. He just wants babies. Let's be real. Oh, how did you know? I've been looking for something like this for a long time. I bet you have. Poor destitute woman. That's all right. So now she, you can see we've actually almost hit this uh, second checkpoint here on the progress bar. And she has a much higher reputation. She's she's into our man Oliver right here. OG, if you will. A high talent and arcane ensures that artifacts that you use can be used again more quickly. I don't even know what artifacts are. I'm very new to this game. <laughs> Okay. All right, we are gonna go ahead and we will send our man out to the market. What? So right now uh, we've got Luis out here robbing people. Oh, she's hiding in a barrel. What? 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 Oh, there she is. I think she actually was. I don't know. All right, but now we've got our man here at the uh, 
marketplace here. Let's see if there's anything we want. Blackberries, lavender, soap. Soap, does that make a good gift? Regular ablutions with soap and water help prevent many diseases. Also, cleaning with clean eating with clean fingers is not only healthier, but much more enjoyable. After all, the use of forks has been brought back to Europe by Crusaders only recently, and has not really caught on so far. Primary demand. So, we might as well just go ahead and buy some of that. I don't know if we'll be able to get that as a gift, but I, I think we can. And considering uh, his lady is destitute, we will right there, destitute. We'll be uh, we'll be attempting to give her that what very soon. It? In the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and go to our smuggler's hole. So yeah, you can actually go inside the building. So here's our smuggler's den. We got our, our ill-gained loot, our ill-gotten loot right there. And this is just kind of our little uh, thieves guild here. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna. Um, I don't believe we can hire it right now. Oh, actually, we can. Do you want to hire Christine Labrie for hands of love 475? And she costs 100 gold per round to have. Sure, yeah. So now, see, that option has disappeared. But if we go ahead and go to improved building over here, we can actually increase the workspace. Boom. So we had to spend some money, and we're going to do the equipment chest that actually raises the stealth of our people. Um, because it gives them good equipment to use. I'm not quite sure what everything does. We're gonna go ahead and do, uh, burglary and fire protection, just to be safe here. I believe these other uh, upgrades you need to have higher level building to unlock. You can see here is our new rogue, Christine Labrie. We're gonna hire uh, yet another person. So now we've got three rogues on our payroll. So we're gonna come back out here to Oliver Gunn. He's the shot caller, he's the ringleader. Let's see. So we've got her, she's kind of on the marketplace. So let's go ahead and um, put this person right here. Uh, com no, not committing burglary, that's not what I want. We're going to uh, pickpocket out here. Let's put it around th there. And then we'll have our third person pickpocketing over here. I don't know what this is exactly, but it appears that there are people walking around and people standing around, so. Very nice. All right, and I believe, uh, you know, we can go ahead and go court our lady. Before, uh, so let's give her a kiss. There we go, so Oliver's gonna move. As you can see, uh, people with turquoise on them, so we've got her, I want to her, and her. Where shall I attack? We've got our we've got our pickpocket standing the corners. Oh look at that. You kissed very well, sir. Oh he knows. You don't need to tell all of her guns. Where is the enemy? So we've got a gift for her. Child's play. I don't know what this conveys as a as a gift. I don't know what message it conveys, but Here's some soap. I thank you. <laughs> There's just silence for a second there. I say, I thank you kindly, sir. She says, I'm although sure it lo lowered his reputation with her. Yes. I guess it was kind of insulting, but she's like, you know what? I I kind of love him more for it. At least he's being honest with me, or so she thinks. See tip. Take a lover to have an additional ally in the hard world of the Middle Ages. It is more difficult to break into a well-improved patrician's house than a run-down cottage. Speaking of, we can actually uh, sort of scout out buildings to see if they uh, have anything to gain. So this is actually another smuggler's hole. So we're going to go ahead, yes. take Oliver. Let's go ahead and scout that place out. Oh, can't. Wait. I click through. No, I didn't. Well, looks like maybe some places are not. Ooh, a pawnbroker. Good plan. Maybe some places are not able to be scouted. Maybe they're not even able to be raided. I don't know. 
raided, I say. Burglarized, I believe is the term. But yeah, you can look, and he's uh, he's running over here. He's gonna case the joint. And we have our we have our pickpockets lining the streets. We got quite a criminal enterprise going right here. Look at this. Making us the dough. So he's casing the joint. I don't know what this emblem over his head is. Oh, that's stealth, I, I, I believe. So, um, if you click on the Dynasty screen, which took me forever to find, by the way, yesterday. Um, you see we have 120 XP. Um, abilities, we do not have abilities yet. But you gain abilities as you level up. Um, we don't have really enough experience to, to unlock the kind of things we want. We would like something more, like more stealth maybe. Or perhaps more constitution, which sort of increases your character's life expectancy, which is pretty important. Uh, we do need to save though. Let's. Cool. Single player games, you can pause the game with spacebar in order to think about what to do next. So he's about done casing the joint. There we go. Collected some information. So you can see we have an eye over this building. We have information on it now. Uh, security measures. They don't have any possible loot. A few coins. Um, we can actually have him just go ahead and uh, commit this burglary here if you'd like to. If you like it, brother. Yeah, Victory is ours. I believe he unlocks some more experience points for that as well. Nope. I like how this guy's like, oh yeah, you know. And Oliver is uh, clearly trying to break open the wall with his crowbar. I don't. I don't think that's the best approach but you know what he's the expert here I'm just gonna leave it up to him let's see we can check out our, our uh, pickpockets over here oh. oh I think it was a failure he runs off wow she's got six stealth it's pretty good actually dum -diddy -dum -diddy -dum -diddy -dum. she does as well Impressive. Same thing over here. She looks very happy. Yeah, they all have high stealth. Very, very high stealth. I'm armed. The bell is is clanging. I believe that's the end of a quote unquote round. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and just like that, a man was found out. I think he wants us to get out of here. Oh my gosh, it's actually speeding up. Oh. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Oh man, that was something. Alright, Oliver, go ahead and uh, run off for a second here, buddy. For fame and honor! And Victory I think it's safe to go back. That was something. My goodness. Yeah, so the gray bar right there is his progress bar, so that's how close he is to finishing this. Um. Our pickpockets are doing pretty well. You can see we've almost got eight grand now just from all the pickpocketing. So these uh, pop-ups come up. I've never done one of these yet, but the Guild of Tradesmen of Macon is offering a trading contract for the German Imperial Court for two church bells at 920 per unit. This request will last for nine hours. Something maybe has been changed. 
Oh, look at this. Uh, today is decided that in future coincidence, uh, and Lion will be severe. Oh, look at this guy. He's the, the sales tax has been changed. Okay, sales tax today is twenty percent. Nice. He is actually almost done with this. Someone feels neglected. Oh. I feel more feels neglected. Well, the life of a, a dashing rogue will require some sacrifice. Uh, well, 400 was successful. Not, not bad, not bad. Very nice. Alright, well now, he probably has... No, he still doesn't have experience. I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Alright, um... Shoot. What to do next? Why? Well, I suppose he could go and... Give... Uh, beguile. Audrey. He's, he's gotta go uh, lay it on smooth. You can actually uh, speed up time. I can see. Oh wow! That was an interesting conversation. Oh my! Interesting. Someone has well. fallen in love with you. Oh look at that! I believe now you can uh, ask for her hand in marriage. Good plan. Nice job, Oliver. Will you take me as your husband? Gladly, sir. You can do here right now, or you can do uh, in a monastery chapel. And let's be real. You know, Oliver Gunn, he likes the, the fancier things in life, so they're going to go to the chapel. They've, they've got enough money for it. And see, they're passing by one of uh, Oliver's men right there. I should say women. <laughs> I believe they're all three women. Yes, they are. <laughs> Oliver likes to surround himself with the opposite gender, I see. <laughs> they seem to be taking an interesting path and following very closely. Nice, let's go inside the monastery and let's let's watch this uh, this beautiful ceremony. Are you gonna sit in the stands for your own money? Okay, I thought so. We are gathered together today. No witnesses, no guests. And you, you should take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and honor until death. So, that's what we Yes. Love and honor till death do you part. So I say, yes. Yes, I do. She's quite excited. I hereby declare you man and wife. Now, nice job, OG. Whoa. Changed quick. So you can see now we actually have her as a playable character, which is pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at Dynasty here. So he actually gained quite a bit of experience for that, so let's go ahead and pause. Um, we definitely want more stealth on him so that he can do some nice stealthy things here. So we'll go ahead and put two points in stealth. Alright, and that's pretty much all we can afford, but we do have stealth at five now, which is really nice. Uh, he does not have enough yet to get a level up. Family tree of the dynasty. So we've got these two here. Um, let's take a look at her stats. So she's got empathy, which is seeing through rhetoric and stealth. 
handicrafts. Let's see. Because she's a patron. So she can do things like run inns, make f farms, things like that. So we're probably going to want to, let's see, constitution, empathy, and bargaining. Let's say that she's a savvy woman. She will have some points here in bargaining. Uh, as well as a couple points here in constitution to start her off with. And then one more in empathy. She's, she's quite a uh, smart woman. And I, I believe we're going to have her run an inn. That's what I, I think we're going to do here. My brain is so not we can actually me. go ahead and uh, send both of them home. And we can put the time back to normal. Very nice. Um, so you can actually... Let's see, we're going to go back to the hut here. It's not a, it's a smithy. You can actually buy an inn. Is so it like the tavern, the, down, the bouncy bed? It's not currently for sale. But if a building was for sale, it would have gold coins over its uh, over the top of it. Which I don't actually see any that are for sale currently. But of course, we could always build one. I feel like this is a prime spot, don't you think? Uh, sort of like as people come into town, it's right next to the funny farm. <laughs> That's a good name. Um, okay, okay. Town hall's right there. Yep, yeah, let's do that. Alright, so, so let's save really quick. Should be Oliver Gunn. That's what we're gonna do right here. Okay. Apparently you can't hold the space bar, or backspace. This game is a, a little bit outdated. That's okay. So Oliver Gunn. Actually, the way I like it is like that. Boom. Cool. Alright, now... They should be at home, I believe. We're gonna enter the building here. We can actually, we can have them train at home. We can have them do all sorts of things. We're actually, we're gonna spend the night together so that we can have a child. <laughs> Why not? Sure, whatever. <laughs> have fun, you two lovebirds. You newlyweds, you. <laughs> All right. Now, um, as you can see, we still have our people out here making us money. Now, um, let's see. I'm looking at this plot of land, and I'm thinking it needs a... Let's see. So, see, we've got our, our tabs here. These are rogue buildings, scholar buildings, craftsmen, miscellaneous. Look, look out, tower. That's kind of cool. Storehouse. Interesting. I don't know exactly what that does. Ship, ships, huh? Okay, interesting. Country estate. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, and then patron. So there's a croft, which is like a farm. It's a big shop, public house, which is like a tavern or an inn. Fisher shack, orchardist, coral field, and meadow. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to do a public house. You can't own more than one workshops. Oh, I see. Okay. Look at that. She is with child, I believe. Look, yes, she is currently with child. Where is the enemy? So, we're actually going to have Oliver uh, go to the town hall. Let's see. Show, but does she? Yeah, she becomes a commoner. She shares his. So we're going to purchase the title. I'm certain you have come to purchase a new title. Let's see. You wish to acquire a better title that comes to but a paltry sum, a bargain, if you ask me. But now, of course. you will be notified as soon as the matter has been decided. Very nice. Very, very nice. Small, small. Mm -hmm. So how is our... Ooh, we've got some experience to spend. Let's, let's put it in um, Constitution. We're trying to get the uh, the most life expectancy out of these guys that we can. Oh, he did level up. So, see this little plus sign? It means that you've actually leveled up and you could put a point in an ability here. Gives you advantages over others. So, one that I actually... Whoop, didn't mean to do that. One that I've been uh, interested in is educated. You gain 5% more experience whenever you uh, get experience points. So, let's, let's go ahead and level this one up. It's a educated right here. Boom. 
Nice. He's a very smart man. He's very cunning. And you can see we are now level two. We have two stars Honest there. Beer, no less. Um, God bless. I don't know if she... She did gain some XP, so let's put it towards... Oh. Oh, nice. We became a yeoman. Here I am. So now, uh, he actually gained some more experience. So let's take a look at this. Um, he has... Wow, well, that was a lot of experience. Let's put it in stealth, so we can be a stealthy boy. And then, um, we actually want him to be a decent fighter. Let's put it in martial arts and dexterity. Dexterity is like speed of movement, dodging, pickpocketing, burglary, dodging, and duel. And then, uh, martial arts is, is attacks and, and, um, yeah, and attacks, I mean. <laughs> That's really all it is. Okay. And then did he level up? No. How about our girl here, Audrey? Audrey could for chance, let's see, permanent favor bonus. Hmm. Handicraft, stealth, rhetoric, empathy. I feel like it's good to have someone around who's able to see through rhetoric and stealth. She is with child though. That's something to keep in mind. Town hall. We actually we have quite so, a bit of money. Let's get down to business. You'll not become emperor here, but I could try to get you a certificate bearing a better title than what you have now. It only costs a few coins. Perhaps not completely. Very yeah. well. I nice. shall see what can be done, and will inform you when the time has come. So the smuggler's hole. Let's take a look at here. Let's uh, manage building. Nope, that's not what I want. Building levels. We could technically do this, I believe. Oh no, we need to be rogue level three. So we're not quite there yet. Um, how about improving the building? I don't really know what all this stuff is, but I feel like I'm just gonna level it up. This is like, increases the capacity of storage slots and this is the amount of storage slots. I have no idea what those are and what those do. Maybe like storeroom or something, let's see. Production and storeroom. Oh, I guess that wouldn't make a lot of sense. I guess if you like robbed something and stored it here They've got daggers This is like if you're working uh, producing something All right Nice, so we got that citizen without uh, full civil rights Train we'll have him train I don't know what that is. Oh, he's level three? Whoa, dang, getting titles is really good for leveling up. It's a lot of XP. All right, uh, let's continue to get his oh, social status, middle class. I mean, I suppose he is getting some good income here. Let's go ahead and add a couple in constitution here. There we go. That should increase his lifetime. I believe that also does Dynasty. So life points and number of inventory slots, also life expectancy. Very hardy fellow. And now what? How about for her? She didn't gain any experience. Alright. He did he didn't okay, so he he leveled up level three, which means actually we can get a um new upgraded thieves hall then again we were trying to build an inn over here so i'd say let's get back to that so construct buildings public house mm. i'm trying to think oh ho, ho, actually Look at this nice little spot here. I'm trying to think about how I would want to position this. That's right in front of the church there. Hmm. This one right by Town Hall here. Right behind Town Hall. I'm thinking though, people are coming in from this way. Yeah, you know, let's just have this right here, I think. Very nice. And I don't know if we can have any more buildings than that right now. So 
Oliver's training, which, uh, how he's reading. He's reading about thievery and whatnot. Lower council service. Uh, the domicile suitable for your standing is house, as you and you are currently allowed to own two businesses. Currently, you own one. Okay. Stole Congratulations. A the council whose wisdom. There will be war. So France and Austria. In eight hours, we will gather our troops. Summon lands lance nets. Uh, GG Easy, the king of France. Let's see. Oliver Gunn is gonna blow. Vez and gold will be doing the honors of playing at the inn, public house, the bishop's head and belly. New privileges. Oh, citizen, you're allowed to own four businesses. Wow. Congratulations. The council, in all its wisdom, has decided to award you a new title. Too much cheese toast, but I love cheese toast. Congratulations, Oliver Gunn has gone up a level. Tip. A new building has been finished. Oh, baby. Uh, quartz, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right. And then a new building has been finished. The Crow and Crumpet. I like that. That's a good name. Tip. Your constitution determines how many different objects you can carry and use. Oh, so he I probably help. can carry multiple objects now. He's almost done training. I don't know exactly what that entails. We've got our public house here. So uh, a lot of places have a uh, hand cart that come with them. So let's take a look at this building. Model. Let's go inside. So we've got her right here. The adulterator. Serve guests, leave building. Dynasty Moors. Ooh, what is this? Sebastian Ozier of the Ozier Dynasty died today. That's too bad for them, that is. Let's see, open it under a fire. No, let's go ahead and just have her serve guests. Do your business, lady. Sweet, so she's gonna be serving guests. Speaking of, haha, <laughs> unemployed. That's the kind of commodity we want here. You now have a daughter. Ooh, Valerie's a good name. Today, Audrey Gunn delivered a healthy baby girl. Congratulations, what do you name? Oh, there's a time limit. All right, yeah, Valerie it is. I like that name. Hello. There she is. So I don't think we can uh, really, you know, control that character yet or anything, but okay, all right, we've got a daughter. That'll do. What we really want oh, is a son though. Oh. Okay, he just finished training. It's got him a little bit of experience. Let's get him that bargaining point just because. Alright, now let's see. She and he are both free to do stuff, so let's go ahead and pause. So I mean, okay, let's let's take a look at our situation here. So we've got uh, the hut could be worse. We've got the smuggler's hole here, we've got our uh, thieves out I here making it. money. On every corner out here around the market, we just opened an inn. Oh, look, look at that pig roasting on the skewer. I mean, we're doing pretty good. And so I, I think this is about where we're going to call it for this episode. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you guys are enjoying this silly game. It's a little, little buggy. It's got character. A little janky. That's all right. Uh, I'm honestly really enjoying this game. It's, it's very cool. Just essentially uh, get to just kind of run your own family and try to take over the economic world here it's very cool so hope you guys are enjoying as much as i am i hope you guys have a wonderful day this is t4 talk to you later